Have you ever wondered why default constructors are so important in Java? Well, my friend, you're about to find out. Let's start with the basics. Constructors in Java are special methods, but they're not just any methods. They're the ones that breathe life into our objects, initializing them so they're ready for action. Now, here's a fun fact. When we create a class and don't explicitly define a constructor, Java steps in like a helpful assistant and provides a default constructor for us. It's like an automatic safety net, ensuring our objects have a starting point. So, what does a constructor look like? Picture a method that has the same name as the class and doesn't have a return type. That's your constructor. It's a simple structure, but it holds a lot of power. That's your introduction to default constructors, a small but mighty part of Java. Now that we know what default constructors are, how exactly do they work? Well, let's dive in. A default constructor is like the unsung hero in the world of Java. It is called automatically, without any explicit call whenever an object is created. It's like the stagehand who sets everything up before the play begins. When you create an instance of a class, the default constructor is the first one to take action. It initializes all the instance variables of the class with default values. Think of it as setting the stage, making sure all the props are in place before the actors come in. For integers, it sets the value to zero. For floating point numbers, it's 0.0. .0. For references, it assigns null, and for Boolean values, it sets them to false. This ensures a clean slate, a starting point, if you will, for all the variables. Now you might be wondering what happens if I don't declare any constructor in my class. Here's where the magic happens. If a class has no constructors at all, Java automatically provides a default constructor. Yes, you heard it right. It's like Java has your back, ensuring that every class has at least one constructor. So even if you don't see it, there's always a constructor working behind the scenes. It's like an invisible worker bee, constantly buzzing, keeping things in order. But here's a little twist. If you define a constructor with parameters, Java won't automatically generate a default constructor. You'd have to explicitly declare it. But that's a story for another day. In essence, a default constructor is your silent partner, ensuring smooth operation, making sure that every object starts its journey with a clean slate, all set and ready to take on the world. So that's the magic of default constructors. They're always there, even when you can't see them. We've seen what default constructors are and how they work, but why are they so important? Let's delve into the essence of default constructors in Java. Their importance stems from the fact that they allow us to create objects without having to explicitly define a constructor for every class. Picture yourself in a scenario where you have hundreds of classes. Without default constructors, you'd have to manually write a constructor for each one of those classes. Sounds tedious, doesn't it? But with default constructors, Java does the heavy lifting for you. When no constructor is defined in a class, Java automatically provides a default constructor. This makes your code cleaner, more efficient, and easier to maintain. But that's not all. Default constructors also provide a way to set default values for instance variables. This means we can initialize our objects to a default state, ensuring consistency across our application. Think of it like setting up a new phone. When you first turn it on, it comes with preset settings like brightness, volume, and language. These are the default settings, and you can change them later if you want. Similarly, default constructors set up our objects with default values, which we can modify later as per our requirements. And that's why default constructors hold such a vital role in Java. They make our life as programmers much easier. To summarize, default constructors in Java are crucial tools in object-oriented programming. They streamline the process of initializing objects, setting default values for instance variables, and they significantly enhance the cleanliness of your code. These constructors truly embody the principle of less is more by making your code more efficient and easy to understand. Remember, the power of Java lies in its simplicity and default constructors are a perfect example of that. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more Java tips and tricks.